The rangelands of southern KwaZulu-Natal and the Eastern Cape offers us a unique opportunity to look at how indigenous knowledge offers cultural protection to a species that has coexisted with people and domestic animals for hundreds of years. With support from the Ford Wildlife Foundation, we are able to survey and monitor groups of endangered ground hornbills on the farmlands, plantations and grasslands of southern KwaZulu-Natal and the Eastern Cape. We were also able to conduct over 500 questionnaires within the rural communities to assess the cultural perceptions and quantify the threats that these birds are facing. The next step of the research project is to quantify the ecological parameters necessary for southern ground hornbills to survive. We will be fitting individuals from different groups with satellite transmitters. The data from these transmitters will give us fine-scale information on local movements and this will be used to collate ecologically driven management plans to ensure this species' persistence beyond the current protected area network. These birds appear to be more tolerant to disturbance than we thought. They are utilising marginal habitats and moving into anthropogenic landscapes in the extreme. They are facing pressures as a result of habitat loss and are subsequently moving into areas where they are likely to encounter people more frequently. This speaks to their ability to adapt to changing land use, but is more likely to put them into harm's way. This research project could contribute to the species conservation efforts in a novel way, by producing an effective management plan within private lands and by harnessing the cultural protection that they are afforded within rural areas. We would like to thank Ford Wildlife Foundation for their continued support. <coughs> Dindus, 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 Dindus,